Mission ends nice in shot, 10 shot, seconds. Nice nice shot, mate. This, this right here is the state of one of the most influential games to have ever been made. And the creator, Valve, is perfectly okay with keeping it in this state, while continuing to profit off of it to a ludicrous degree, making millions off of it. And yeah, despite this game being old enough to drive, it still offers opportunities for you to spend money. With the last update only coming out a few months ago, and probably another one coming soon that'll offer cosmetics and more chances to spend money, I think it's absolutely inexcusable that Valve has continued to keep the game in this state despite profiting off of it so much. The last iteration of Safe TF2 was more about how we love the game. You know, it was, it was too positive and it didn't get anywhere, it failed. It was worth doing, but Shork and friends came in and kind of completely ruined it all. No hate to them, you know, this is a big thing and we probably couldn't have gotten it right the first time anyways, whatever. I'm just pointing out what went wrong here. We were way too fucking nice and Valve gave us a tweet and then we were good. They didn't fucking do, they didn't do anything. And this time, things need to be different. Valve needs to know, we need to just shove that shit in their face and never let them stop sniffing it because what they're doing is absolutely inexcusable and incredibly fucking scummy. Let me say this again. Valve continues to profit off of this game. Millions, millions of dollars that they rake in from this game as we play it and get this. It is an absolute slap in the face to anyone who has ever played this. If you have played this game, at any point in your life, you should be upset at what they're doing here. I get it. If the passion for TF2 is gone in, in the Valve office, sure, they've got an entire Pyroland room, but sure, maybe all somehow all of the passion that they had for TF2 is gone. How that happens is beyond me, but whatever. If they don't want to upkeep the game anymore, they should make that abundantly clear instead of just being silent for seven fucking years. It's ridiculous. I believe that Valve's policy of not fucking telling anyone anything is complete bullshit. It's stupid. It is literally helpful to nobody but themselves, maybe. I don't know how Valve has the reputation that they do as like the cool uncle of video game companies because in my eyes they're just as bad as the money gluttons that we all know and love like EA, Blizzard, and Ubisoft. The only difference is that we haven't heard about sexual harassment. That's it. So what makes Valve so greedy in the realms of TF2? Specifically, because that's kind of what we're focused on here. As everyone knows, Valve does not make content updates anymore. And that's okay. I believe TF2 is in a good enough state as it is that if they just didn't add more content, it would still be a fun game. Perfectly fine. But they still push out updates that are exclusively cosmetic cases, war paint cases, and new community maps, which, you know, you can get community map stamps. Of course, ways to make money off of literally everything that they add into the game. And what do we get for it? But that's not where Valve's greedy practices end, because let's dive even further into just the item shop. It is egregious, the prices of the shit on here. It's been a meme, you know, oh, it's so expensive, literally do not, for the love of God, buy from the shop. But let's seriously look at this. Whole dollars for single cosmetics. There are weapons for dollars. It is awful that the Righteous Bison, especially, is set almost $8 for one of, if not the worst item in the entire game. And sure, that's kind of a funny haha -ha thing, you know, I think it's kind of goofy paying $8 for the worst item in the game. I think that's kind of funny if, if you know how to avoid that. But let's actually think about that for a second, this item shop. TF2, being a Valve-made product, is obviously very popular on Steam. Everyone knows that. If you have Steam, you've played TF2. I don't know if you've enjoyed it, I don't really care. 
but I know you've played it. And most people don't know about third-party websites like Marketplace.tf or Manco.stored. People don't know about stuff like that because who actually cares going into it, you know? Nobody knows how many weapons and cosmetics they are. No one knows what they do or if they want them. Yes, you can earn them while playing and I think that's great. But it's still incredibly scummy that in the shop, these weapons that literally cost cents, like two cents a pop, cost whole dollars in this shop. A ripoff doesn't even begin to cover what this is. And it's the same for cosmetics. Most cosmetics only cost a couple cents. But on the shop, not only do you get a limited amount of them, but they're also five to seven dollars a piece. It is egregious. And it is, it's, it's gross. It's scummy. It's awful. And I don't know how we've just accepted this. There's this whole meme of gamers being the most oppressed group on Earth, you know. And the only reason there's a hint of truth to that is not because there's some bigger oppressive force, but it's because us gamers just love to bend over and get fucked by anyone who passes us on the street, damn near it seems. But it doesn't have to be like that. Past instances have shown us that if enough passionate people gather together to try and make change, eventually it'll work. Those big companies that, that we apparently just can't touch, they can be touched. We just need to figure out how to touch them. And that sounds kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. You, you know what I mean. It didn't work the first time when we just said to Valve, Hey, we love this game and we want you to fix it. This time, things need to be different. We need to get across to Valve that you need to fix this game, or else your reputation will be in the fucking dirt. This Fix TF2 movement should not be a movement jerking ourselves off about how great the game is. It should be a movement to open the eyes of the average person to see the shit that Valve does, and how they treat their products and the people who consume them. And let's not forget about Deadlock, Valve's newest game that they've been cooking up that no one's going to love or play. I get that this is an early game, but fucking look at this. This looks like a mobile game. This does not look like something Valve would create. This looks like shit. This is some artifact level shit right here. This is bad, alright? Valve would rather abandon a unique game that shaped how FPSs are played today to work on a bottom of the bin knockoff that no one will ever play or remember. So Valve sucks, we've established that. But what exactly can we do about this? And before you little doomer poster loser is like, oh, we can't do nothing. There's nothing that can be done. There is something that can be done. We can get somewhere. The more of us there are berating Valve, sharing our experiences of botted servers and awful monetization scams, the harder it's going to be for Valve to ignore it. The point of this is to make this an absolute PR nightmare for Valve. Obviously, no one should be sending bombs to their office or anything, but we need to be heard, right? We need to cause a severe stink that they can't help but smell it. And we need to keep that gamer stench up, constantly, for as long as it takes. We don't just have one day where we celebrate TF2, like, Oh yeah, TF2's great, We we want it fixed! No. Months. Years if it takes that long. If we want to really make some kind of significant change, there needs to be all of us. Not just the big YouTubers and the vocal minorities, it needs to be everyone who plays this game. All of you. I want every single one of you to share videos of your bot encounters, screenshots. Like, I don't care if you prop your 3DS up and take a picture of it or whatever. Share your experiences with bots. Let people know what is going on with this game. Be annoying to Valve, not everyone else. What we want to do is get people on our side who don't play the game, to try and help us hold Valve accountable for the fucking scummy bullshit they've been pulling for God knows how long at this point. The ultimate goal, at least for me, is a response from Valve. Like, an actual action done by Valve. And there are only two options that I'm satisfied with. Either they shut the game down, or they fix the problem. Both are fine by me. If they fix the problem, that's great, that's awesome, we get to play TF2 again. That's so sick. But if they shut the game down, then that's all of Valve's credibility down the drain. Their reputation, I'm sure, will instantly just turn to dust. 
So I think either way, if we get Val's attention and make them do an action of some sort, I think we'll win at the end of the day. So spread videos of your bot encounters, your cheater encounters, spread screenshots of it, spread videos like this, you know, propaganda of this whole thing. Let people know outside of the TF2 sphere that this is happening. Don't be obnoxious, obviously. We don't want people to start resenting this movement like they did save TF2. I'm hoping with the name change of Fix TF2, this will help people really understand what this is all about, and I hope this will gain some serious traction in the eye of the main public. But that requires effort on all of our parts. Not just mine, not just yours, but every single person in the community. That requires our effort to spread the word and to get shit done, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. With that being said, fuck Valve, fix TF2, and, uh, yeah. See you later.